Greetings, Earthlings and inhabitants of the lovely galaxy in which we exist. Welcome to Paul Plays Minecraft. Oh, and... And in galaxies far, far away, of course. Yes, you are invited as well. I wouldn't want to leave anyone out. I have been accused of excluding people in my uh, my greetings and the starts of my Let's Plays. Paul Plays Minecraft, but I usually say, Greetings, Earthlings! And I thought that was good enough. Pretty much encompasses everyone, right? Earthlings? Everybody's an Earthling. Well, guess what? I had a, I had a funny guy, I had a wise guy, say, uh, I'm from Mars, dude! You left me out. What about us Martians? And I was like, uh-uh. Liar! I've been to Mars and there's no one there. Hello? <laughs> All right, yeah, I don't believe anything anyone says today, my friends, because today is April Fool's Day, April 1st. So happy April 1st. Be on your guard today. Don't believe anything you read, see, or hear, because it's most likely a bunch of baloney. And what is, wait, what do they say in the UK? What do you guys say? Bollocks, right? I know what that is, by the way. I know, it's pretty funny. Um, well, anyway, welcome back. We are in a stronghold. And we are going to make a secure base of operations. And this looks like a adequate location. It's a little small, but what we're going to do is get organized. I hear a slimy! Oh, we are beneath the swamp, so... Um, they're so easy to find now. Almost too easy. I think they're... Um, Spawn rate has been reduced somewhat, though. Anyway, so we are going to go out and find some goodies. And we'll bring them back here. And then eventually we'll, we'll head back to Macho Pikachu and then use some of this stuff. I, I want to grab a lot of this stone brick. And we'll, we'll figure out what we want to build when we get back. So let's see. I need some buttonses and I like I really like the wooden buttons. First of all, you can see them a lot more clearly. With the contrast there with the gray. So let's get rid of you. Bing. Nice. All right. Pretty well secured in here. The zombies can't kick the doors down now since they're made of iron. Iron, I run so far away. All right, never mind. No more Duran Duran. That's Duran Duran, right? I, I probably shouldn't even admit that I know that. <laughs> okay, then. Don't tell anyone. Just getting rid of some stuff here before we head out and do our investigation work. I don't have a bed. I should probably make a bed in case I die, huh? How about if we go get a little more string? We'll, we'll make our spawn point here. And... Wow, I only have three torches and I have no coal. I didn't bring any because I thought that, um... I just didn't think we'd be spending a whole lot of time here. Or at least I, I figured we'd find some coal. I thought that we'd be down lower than... Where are we? Level 39. That's not low enough. Well, it's low enough to get coal, of course, but I figured we were going to come back with pockets is full of all kinds of resources. Usually strongholds are low. We're going to get gold and iron and... All that good stuff, but I guess, I guess not. All right, let's make, um, in this poor little lonely soul, there we go. And what am I making? Um, oh, wait, 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 I got to practice this. There's a way to do this. It's, it's see, I've been, <coughs> excuse me, I've been left, right clicking and painting in the bench here. But if you left click, and I don't know why I didn't try this before, everybody was like, dude, left click! Even the guy from Mars. Um, if you put those in here like that with left click, it spreads them out evenly, whatever stack you have, evenly. That's rocking. So, there you go. It's a bed. And hopefully it's night and I can sleep in my bed. I can. Whoa! That was a catnap. If I ever did see one. Alright, good enough. Let's get rid of you. You, let's go exploring. Um, like, like Magellan. <laughs> Alright, let's go down here. I hear a squishy squasher. Squishy, squishy fella. And, oh man, I need more buttons. I should have a pocket load of buttons, I suppose. Oh, close it. Oh, ah, he made it. Ah. I was trying to be fancy. Hey, door. You can close now. 
Weird. Come on in, slime. You are invited to. Gotcha. Nice. Like I said, slime balls are easy to come by now. Not a big deal. All right, no more torches. We need to find some light, my friends, and we need to find it fast. So let's let's go. Oh, wow, hey, oh, batty, scared me. <sighs> Why'd you do that? Go play. Go outside. Go play. Go play in some power lines, you jerk. This light should come on. Lead me out. Lead me to. A cave. I could find. I, I could use some coal. <laughs> oh, everybody is like kind of not really paying attention to me here. I see stuff walking around. They don't really care. All right, let's head down this way because if I recall, there's. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a room where. No, don't blow it up. I think some of these rooms have chests in them. I haven't been to a stronghold in a while. Oh, here we go. We can go up. Busting up all the doors here. Alright, let's go up here. Let's see if there's a chest. And then we're gonna have to start looking. Oh yeah, there is. It's a torch. Oh! Oh wow. Alright, well I was hoping for something magical, but I'll take that. <laughs> that was nice. 16 torches, and in fact, I think I'm gonna take you too, dude. All right, so, by the way, yes, April 1st. I put up a video this morning at 6 o'clock in the morning, scheduled to go up, and um, it's something about Minecraft 2.0. It's a very special video. And we were under NDA. You see, Mojang contacted the Minecraft guys and said, Hey, guys, we want you to test this out. It's a new version of Minecraft coming out. Don't tell anybody until April... Until April... Whoa! Whoa, zombie! Siege! Ow! I was testing to see if you could hit me through that thing, and you can't. Oh, I'll waste my sword. My good sword on these guys. So go check out that video, and there's something that happens in that video that you are going to want to see. Something that I thought would never happen in a million gazillion years, but it happened anyway. What is going on here? And it's all about Minecraft 2.0. Yep, I don't want to spoil anything, but it's coming. Lots of new stuff to check out, so they gave us a preview version, prototype. Dinnerbone did, and he said, try it out. All the Minecrackers made videos. I, I, well, I don't know about all of them, but most of them did. We were all on a server that was set up with Minecraft 2.0. Really crazy, cool stuff coming down. What are you guys doing in there? I feel like I'm at the movie theater. Hey guys, uh, can I get a ticket for, uh, I'll take one for a blue- No! Oh! No, I guess it closed. <laughs> should've, should've gone to tickets.com, man. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, because- Oh, there we go. Let's go up here. Oh, yeah, see? Oh, really? Iron? Iron? That's kind of lame. I had a little coffee this morning, so I'm a little- a little wired up. My uh, my daughter's birthday is coming up, so not so. This is like a double whammy because we like to prank her. I pranked her on the server a couple years ago on her old private server, and she was, you know, well, a lot younger. Obviously, she seems so little, you know. But um, I made her a birthday cake, and underneath the table when she went to get the cake was TNT. It, it exploded. That video is still up, by the way. It's daughter's birthday surprise I think to check it out it's on our old Minecraft dad server and uh, so the girls went away this weekend Minecraft mom took Remy to New York City it was a total surprise for her birthday and because uh, she had slept over a friend's house oh her friend Ditson oh nice and Ditson if you recall was part of our playthrough of the gift map so her friend Ditson has a birthday now too so they decided to surprise them Ditson's mom and Minecraft mom surprised the two girls by bringing them oh my god I feel like I'm at Home Depot hey, sir would you like to buy a shovel how about this nice door check it out check it out 
actually, they, they, they really are not high pressured sales, but it's just weird. <laughs> I don't know why that came to me. Uh, funny stuff. Um, so she slept over at Ditsons on Thursday night, and of course, no school on Friday because it's Good Friday. And the plan was to go surprise them, pick them up, and then bring them to. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. Bring them to New York City to go see Wicked, which is a Broadway show about um, about Wizard of Oz. Oh, cool! So there's a cave. Looks like oh, some coal. Oh, you know what? I, could, I should probably get down there. Get some more coal because I'm down in 19. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I guess we'll take the stairs. So they, so we drove over in the morning because they were going to leave early. It's a few hour drive for us where we are, and uh, to get to New York City. <clears throat> so they left. They wanted to leave early. So I went over to say goodbye because she wasn't coming back home. My wife packed up all her stuff for her. Ah. Oh, uh, hey, hey, buddy, we got some stone here for your garden. Uh, yeah, would you like to buy some? Yeah, just let's go over to aisle seven, and you can look at all the various stone types. Did you see the guy with the shovel and the door, by the way? Yeah, they're around here somewhere, too. They're having a great sale. Oh. Whoa! Yeah, I've got the armor over here, if you'd like to try out some of the golden armor. Uh, just come on down here. Don't mind the arrows. I'm just trying to get your attention, you see. There's high pressure sales going on here at Home Depot today. Uh, I have way too much fun with these dead dudes. Oh, Lapis. Uh, Alright, let's use this pick because it's got fortune and I can get some extra. Extra, extra. Read all about it. So, oh yeah, I was telling you a story. So anyway, they left, went over and said goodbye, and then they packed up the car, brought the girls to Wicked, and apparently it was Wicked Good. But a bunch About uh, how the Wicked Witch of the West... Where's the East? He's the, the nasty one, the one with the green face and the and the nose and all that. Um, in the Wizard of Oz, how she becomes wicked. I heard it was a good show. So anyway, <clears throat> while the cats are away, the mice will play. That was my wicked witch voice. <laughs> I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog too. It's actually pretty good. Wasn't it? That was pretty good. If you've seen the original, you would say that was pretty good. So let's get some lapis. I'm not nutty about it, but I'll take it anyway. Oh my gosh, I've got doors. Now let me get these out of my carriage. Who put these in my carriage? See, this is a high pressure sale. They at this store, this Home Depot, they actually put things in your cart when you're not looking. And why am I using my best pick ever? Oh, hi. All right. I hear lava. Turn that, and uh, let me get that way to do. Oh, oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. I think. Let's get rid of this stuff then. Um, get rid of the door. I'm not buying that door. I don't care what you say. I guess I get rid of the button. I do want to hang on to the stone. I'm going to collect as much of that as I possibly can. So while they were away, the boys decided to get on the server, or private server, or the Punchwood Island server. Oh, I should be using this guy. And uh, do some pranking. So not only did we do a little pranking. Well, we did pranking for April Fools. But I still have some plans to do some stuff for, for Remy's birthday, which we haven't done. So anyway, we recorded that. We recorded our pranking um, yesterday, Sunday. No, I'm sorry. Saturday. But I still have a little extra footage from last week's recording that we did with the whole family so you're probably not going to see we're not going to do the reaction video until we record it next and you're not even going to be able you're not even going to see the uh the actual prank video yet for a few more days but I'll, I'll try to get it up as soon as i can so you guys can see uh the pranks but you definitely want to record the reaction so that was fun and then i have an idea for her birthday too and no no exploding cakes i don't know if you saw that episode she was she was actually a really good sport about it uh, when it blew up. She didn't die. She didn't die. She was more upset about when I went back to her. We went back to her. Um, all my kids had their own little separate villages. We went back to her village. And I put TNT down on the ground in her village. And, <laughs> and I clicked on it. 
and I set it off and blew a hole right in the middle of her town that she had worked on so hard. And that's what she was mad about. Ooh, was she mad. I felt bad. It was an accident. No, really. No, really. <laughs> it was. Uh, anyway, so I'm not going to do that. No more TNT. Whoa, gold. Ooh, ravine. Nice. What was that sound? I'm on fire, dude. You just set me on fire, didn't you? He's got a flame bow. You've got a flame bow. Right, he's got a flame bow. I want that flame bow. I wonder if he dropped it. Let's go check. Let's get down there. Uh, oh, my shovel here. So, yeah, no, no pranks like that anymore. He didn't drop his bow, did he? Whoa! Beat it. This is hard mode, so we got these shooty, fast shooty guys now. Oh, I see you. Bam. Grab this while we're at it. All right. This comes out as ore, so no sense in using the fortune pick. So, um, anyway, yesterday was Easter. Hope you all had a nice Easter for those of you that have to celebrate it. We had a bunch of family over. It was kind of quiet. We don't do anything too crazy, although my daughter and my niece make up some wild games, usually based on some kind of a TV game show, and this one was based on Dog Eat Dog. We had a lot of fun, took a lot of f weird pictures of people doing funny stuff. Um, <laughs> like there was one where you had to you had to pop six balloons by sitting on them on a chair. We'd have to put them down on the chair, go after to grab it, run to the chair, pop it, run back, grab another one, and then pop that one too. And um, my sister got that one. So you have to vote for people that you think can't do it, or, or people that you want to see try. <laughs> she actually did it too. I gotta hand it to her. Oh, don't release that water. Thank you. She did it. She done did it. I, I chose her. <laughs> I know. Huh? She didn't pick me out, though. So this dog, eat, dog world is you choose someone that... If you do the challenge, if you are able to do it, then everyone that picked you said you couldn't do it, she can... Um, let's make some more torches. She gets to choose from those people to get them out of the game. Well, she didn't choose me, even though I had chosen her. But... Um, I ended up choosing Jumbo for something, my son, and he was able to do it, and he and he kicked me out of the game, which wasn't such a bad thing because we were out on the deck and it was getting kind of cold. <laughs> Everybody was like, "I can't wait to lose so I can go back in the house." The dog, you have to go to the dog pound, which was in the house, when you lose. So people were throwing the game for themselves to get out. I didn't. Jumbo chose me anyway. What did he do anyway? Um. I forget what I chose him to do that he ended up managing to do, but barely. Huh. Can't remember. I can't remember. I'll think of it another time. But there was one more thing I did want to show, tell you that I talked about in the last episode that I said I would tell you, and everybody's like, don't forget. And that's the lost little boy at PAX. Penny Arcade. I went last Friday, right? Was it was two Fridays ago. And I said that um, there was this little lost boy, and... I said, remind me to tell you about it. So I will tell you quickly, and then we're going to call it. Well, actually, one more thing I talk about, too. But anyway, so so we're standing around, my buddy and I, Pizzle, and we're waiting for we're waiting to meet up with the Mind Z guys. Let's go this way. And um, so while we're waiting, we're just sitting there chatting, and I see this little boy who... He, now, it's really busy, right? We're down on the exhibit hall floor, and it's extremely crowded. I mean, you can barely walk without bumping into people, right? So you can imagine the number of people. There's not a lot of... Oh, good thing he died when he fell, because he would have crept up on me, creeper. And, um... You know, there's not a lot of kids, because it was a school day. So, you know, mostly big adults, right? Big, loud, obnoxious adults, elbowing their way around. And to see this little kid, he bolts by. He's coming by, like, through everybody. And I just picked him out of the crowd. I saw the terror in this boy's eyes. He was probably about nine. No, no, no. I take that back. He might have been about ten or eleven. He was a little... Yeah, he, I'd say he's probably about my son's age. Maybe a year younger or so. My youngest son. 
So, but he had a look on him like he just saw the Grim Reaper. And I could spot it as a father. Now, I don't know how obvious this is to a lot of people because nobody paid any attention to him. And I just happened to catch this kid out of the corner of my eye. I could tell the way he moved and the way he looked on his face. And he's alone. Now, kid this age isn't going to be alone, right? So I grabbed him. I said, hey, kid. I said, are you okay? Are you lost? I knew exactly what, that's what the problem was. He, and he was like, yeah, my dad, and, you know, he could, he's stammering. He couldn't really talk. He was so frightened. I said, all right, don't worry about it. Let's go find one of the staff members. And, you know, so there's staff members everywhere. They're all wearing you know, special colored uniforms, shirts, and they have radios and stuff. So, like, it's okay. Calm down. We're, what we're going to do is we're going to go talk to one of the officials here. We're going to find your dad, and we're going to tell him where we are. So it's like, all right, just come with me. So he's like, he wasn't sure, though. He's looking at me. And he's looking around like, should I just run? Who is this guy? <laughs> My dad always said not to talk to strangers because he wasn't talking to anyone. He wasn't paying attention to anyone. He just was just running, basically. A fast walk, you know? So, um, but I didn't want to grab him. I didn't want to hold on to him. I never actually touched him because you never know what's going to happen then, right? So I just tapped him on the shoulder. I said, hey, buddy, are you okay? So follow me. So he followed me for a little bit, and then we found a person... And then uh, that person didn't have the proper equipment to get in contact with anyone or something. She says, oh, go see that guy over there. So we go see the other guy. By the t so I'm explaining to the other guy what's going on. And he's, you know, getting his cell phone out. Um, actually, he's got his, on his walkie-talkie. And the kid starts to wander away from me. And I'm like, whoa, 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 buddy. I'm like, don't go. Don't go. Because he was, like, on his way to just uh, go maybe find his dad on his own or just take off. I'm like, wait. I'm like, don't leave. I said, it's okay. What's your dad's telephone number? Oh, oh, no, first, oh, no, what I said was, while the other guy was on the radio, like, trying to figure out what's going on, um, I asked him uh, a question. I was like, so, what's your, I said, do you play Xbox? What, or do you like PC? And he looked at me, and that's when he slowly started to back off. I'm like, oh, God, all right, I shouldn't talk to him too much. <laughs> so, yeah, this is poor scared kid. So, uh, then I said, all right, what's your dad's cell phone number? And the kid rattled it off. Like, instantly, which was perfect. So I gave the cell phone number to the guy. I said, repeat it for this guy right here, because he had a cell phone, the guy that works there. You know, one of the volunteers. And then, uh, so anyway, they got his dad on the phone. I walked away and said, all right, good. You got him now? He's like, yeah, thank you. And that was the end of that. So that was my story. Saved a little boy. Um, now, here's something. Diamonds! There's something, too. Cool. Now, that's awesomeness. I'm going to have to get rid of something. Um, let's put this down. I'm going to put some stuff away. Get that diamond. Um, bam, 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 bam. That's my bow. I was like, wait, did I just pick up that bow from the... No. Um, stone. Why is all this stuff separate? I'm going to do some cooking and stuff down here, but let's go get this. So... Oh, come on, Fortune. Don't fail me now. Nice, too. Nice, too. I got four out of that. Dang it. That was awesome. Fortune kicking in. Here's the thing if you get lost, don't move. Don't move. If you're with somebody and you get turned around, this has happened to me when I was a kid. I know that feeling. Not only as a child it happened to me, but it happened to me as an adult losing children. <laughs> it's happened to me. Um, yeah, bad dad, right? The best thing to do is stand still. Stay where you are. Someone knows that you're there. They usually have uh you know they're with you at some point and if you just take off you're gonna be harder to find this goes for if you're in the woods too if you get lost in the wilderness somewhere stay put if there's an official person looking person somewhere that's someone that you want to go to you know, obviously if there's a cop around or someone that works in a particular area if you're at a fair or something like that that's those are the people you want to go see um Oh, I'm going to make another furnace. <clears throat> I'm going to make multiple finances, actually. So so there you go. A little tip, um, especially in the woods. Because the longer and the farther you wander away from where you actually get lost, the worse it could become. You're probably going to make yourself even more lost. So, yeah, the best bet when you're lost in the woods is to typically stay right where you are. Bam. And uh, someone will come and find you. Unless you're there for a long time. And then you might want to go 
find food and shelter. <laughs> but, yeah, that's... Hopefully it will never happen to you. I have been lost in the woods before, and it is Panic City. Hunting. Wandering. And when you get turned around... Oh my gosh, I was in Maine. I'll tell you that story another time. So remind me. So I think we're done here. Um, I did want to give one shout out. Actually, a couple shouts out to someone. Uh, Lowry, who was a follower of mine on Twitter, said her friend died. Um, he was 13 years old. And he actually passed away very suddenly. His name is Daniel Sanders. So I wanted to give him a shout out. And my condolences to Lowry. Um, that's just a horrible thing when anyone passes away, particularly a friend or family member. But at that age, God, I mean, what do you say, really? There's really nothing to say, but I'm sorry. And uh, take care of yourself. And um, if you guys... Um, I'm going to put something right here in the video, which will have Lowry's Twitter. And feel free to give her a shout, a tweet, and, and you know, tell her your condol give her condolences or whatever. Um, please don't troll. Don't, don't be a jerk, because if you do, you I'll, I will block you. Um, you know, this is her friend that died. So be nice. And also be about Vox. A shout out to be about Vox. His mom died. I think over the weekend as well. So <clears throat> um, I guess kind of a, I don't know if it was a sudden thing or not, but he tweeted that. And uh, so my condolences to him as well. So give him a ch uh, shout out as well. Be about Vox. He does Minecraft Monday show. What I'm going to do is gather up a bunch of supplies. Everything you see here, I'm going to do all this off camera and I'm going to get some more of the stone and stone brick from the actual uh, stronghold. I will bring it all back to Macho Pikachu. And then we'll we'll do something fun there. I'm kind of running around mental here so nothing that sneaks up on me. They don't want to stand in one spot. Unless you're lost. But I'm not lost. Oh my god, where am I? <laughs> so just walk? Yes. And then stand in the middle. Okay. And then you should... You should... I'm in. No. Hi. So oh, welcome to the in. nether. Um, Are we in? I can't see no. you guys. I don't know where you 